Oh my god. Hey everybody and welcome back to my long awaited restyle tutorial of Clara as the Sugar Plum Princess doll from Barbie in the Nutcracker. I went all the way back to my roots for a full blown restyle in 5 years so sit back, relax and let's get started. And before we start, I'm Jamie and I like to make toy videos here on my channel so make sure you like, subscribe and ring the notification bell if you would like to stay tuned for more toy video content. Alright let's prep your workstation with the things that you may need. Straw, scissor, rat tail comb, a brush, hairpins, clips, and a spraying bottle. Plus a bowl and some towels. So assessing the hair, her hair quality isn't that bad. It's actually quite nice. It's rooted with curly saran hair, but it's also very thinly rooted. And you can see that the curls and the waves are not uniform and defined, so we're gonna fix that. We're gonna take off her crown so that it doesn't get ruined when it touches water. And her crown is actually a little hair clip that you can use on yourself. Alright, so here goes step one, the misting and brushing. So we're just gonna use the spring bottle to mist her hair a little bit to dampen it. And then we're gonna slowly brush starting from the ends and make our way to the top to just to get those kinks out as much as we could. Okay, so she's channeling a little bit like the cowardly lion from Oz right now, but that is why we're moving on to step two, boil wash. So get yourself a nice boiling pot of water and ah, uh, this brings back so much memories. So we do the dip and brush method where I would dip it in for a few seconds and then pull it back out, brush the kinks out and then dip it again pull it back out and brush it a little bit more and I usually like to do it for about three to four times. Pat her hair dry a little bit and you can also save that water to boil it again later for the curling. If you have a hair dryer that has like a no heat setting you can also use that to speed up the process of drying the hair. You don't necessarily have to wait for her hair to fully dry before the curling because we're gonna wet it again anyway. But personally for me, I like the hair to be dry because it's easier for me to approach on how to style her hair. Because usually when the hair is wet, it's quite tiny, so I can't really gauge how much hair I have to work with. Her hair is actually quite long once straightened out. It goes all the way to her knees actually. But while her hair is drying, we can then take a look at how to approach the hairstyle. So basically she just have curly ringlets in the movie and they're not like big chunks of curly hair as you can see they're like thin chunks of hairs and it's just tiny tiny ringlets forming that kind of poofy look. So that is the look that I want to go for. Basically like what you see on the poster. Since her hair is pretty long we really need to tighten up the curls or else we're gonna end up with loose kind of droopy curls that are just way too long. Alright, now moving on to step 3, curling, so get your hairpins and your straws. But we also need some prepping to do's, aka the straw covers. So these are basically just straws cut in the middle to act as a cover for your hair because usually most of the time these hairpins will rust when they come in contact with water and they can leave nasty stained rusted marks on your doll's hair so we don't want that. So that's where these straw covers come into play. We cover it up on the hair so that it prevents a direct contact with the hair and the pins. You don't really need to do this step if you're confident that your pins won't rust. But for me, I am not confident. My pins are just dollar store pins so they're definitely gonna rust so I'm gonna create a bunch of straw covers. Alright so I've made a bunch and it's more than enough and the good thing is that you can always recycle them and reuse them for future restyles. And the next thing to prep is the half tied part of her hair. So these are the parts that are going to be pulled back and tied. So you can basically just try to follow how it was originally sectioned off and tied and that is what I'm going to be doing. Looking good. I'm kind of surprised it turned out okay because I usually struggle with tying hair. 
Okay, so the final step to prep is to section off her hair into different layers so that we can start working on the curls layer by layer. And this is important for this doll because we want to build up that volume, that poofy look. So it's important that each layer of her hair has proper curls going on to poof up that volume. So for me, I'm going to section it off into three different layers. And finally, after so much prepping, we can actually start curling. So each curl is going to be a thin weft of hair because like I said before, we don't want big chunky curls. We want thin, tight, tiny ringlets. So that's what we're going after. Mist, comb, and then get your straw and we can actually start curling. And you can see that I'm curling the hair in a very tight way as if each loop of hair is overlapping with one another because that's what we want. We want to shorten the length and then give up tighter curls. Then get your straw cover. Secure with a pin on top and one on the bottom. And you repeat. Okay, so bottom layer is done with seven curls. I think it's quite enough for us to use it as a foundation for the volume. Bring down the next layer and we redo exactly what we did before. So I left the pieces from the tied bit the last because they're almost going to be like center pieces in the back of the hair so I want them to look nice. And she's done so we move on to step 4, boil perm. Reheat your pot of boiling water again and we dip her for about 5 to 10 minutes. And after that I'm going to immediately dip her in ice cold water to stop the process and permanently set the shape. Then we'll just leave her to dry overnight. The next day has arrived and is now time for us to remove the straws. So the order of the removal process is exactly the same as the curling process. So we'll just start off from the bottom layer. Undo the pins. Remove the cover. And just carefully slide out the straw. So her curls are kind of looking like some Victorian era curls, like very Eden Starling. So we're going to break them down into tinier chunks. For this one, I like to use the end of my rat tail comb to pick a point in the hair and then slowly just unwrap the curls from each other. Don't brush it out or don't pull it. You just manually uh, unwrap it through each loop. Now we have two more mini curls. So if you're okay with this, you can leave it as is. But for me, I want the bottom layer to be very volumized. So I'm going to break down each curl into four mini chunks. Now we're going to mix a bit of step five into this. Usually I like to undo all the curls first and then go on with the styling. But that can turn out very messy sometimes. So I'm going to style the hair per layer. So I'm just going to take a little bit of hair gel on my middle finger and my thumb and I'll just run my finger through each lock to coat them in the gel. This will help maintain the shape and also control flyaways. And you just continue that process for the rest of her hair. And boom, she's done. So all there's left to do is give her back her necklace and put on her crown and now we're ready for the glamour shots. And I am really, really happy with how she turned out. I mean, it's been so long since I last did a full on straw curling restyle. So I was a little nervous at first, but I guess I still kind of got it. <laughs> So she went from some mice woke me up in the middle of the night to sugar plum princess realness. And here is a comparison of how our hair turned out versus the DVD cover. And again, I am really, really happy with how accurate it turned out. I'm really glad it ended up around the same length as well because my biggest worry was uh, the hair ending up too long. And all the tiny little ringlets paid off because they're really giving volume. 
All right, so that is it for my Clara restyle tutorial. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I had so much fun making it. I forgot how much fun this was. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the restyle and if you're going to be trying this style on your own dolls. You can check me out on Instagram at Creates for more photos and toy photography. If you enjoyed this video, please like, thumbs up, share, and subscribe so you get more videos like this in your video feeds. It would really help me out. Once again, thank you so much for waiting until the very end and I'll see you all soon in my next video. Bye!